everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura for today's recipe what I'm going to share with you is how I make my version of Fideo Loco the difference of the way I make it is I use round steak instead of hamburger meat but they're both delicious either way they're delicious it's just whatever your preference is my recipe I'm going to use just one box of Fideo if you need more for your family just double it up it's real easy it's a good recipe that you can double up what I'm making if you have a larger family and it's very cost efficient with the hamburger meat it'll go even further so that's a good plate to have if you're new here welcome my name is Laura where I post baking and cooking videos at least twice a week right now I'm posting every day until the end of the year so make sure you always look in the description box or up in the cards for my latest videos don't forget leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and most importantly hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video okay guys let's get started we are going to start the recipe by frying up the fideo. There are several kinds of fideos. They have some that are very fine and thin. I am going to use this one. This is probably the most common one that I think people use in their household for this particular recipe. So we're going to fry this first just so we don't have to bust out two pots or two skillets. You're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil or vegetable oil, whatever your choice. We are going to fry up the fideo. And you don't want to rush this. You want to get this as golden brown as you possibly can without burning it, okay? It takes a few minutes. I take my time with it. So I'm just going to leave you here in real time so you can see how this fries up and changes color. Okay, I brought you in real close so that you could see the color of the fideo. Once it starts getting this real golden color here, just like that, it starts to turn real quick. So don't turn your back on it or stop stirring it because it will burn on you. This needs about one more minute and then we're done. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and we're going to take it out of here and stew up our meat in the same pot. Okay, I'm just going to pour in the noodles into this bowl and set them aside. I think you can see the color of the noodles here better. Okay, that's the color that you want them. Okay, we're going to set these aside. Okay, so the pot already has a little bit of oil from the noodles and now we're going to add our meat on medium to high heat. The only thing that we're going to add to the meat at this point is a little bit of salt. And what I added in for me, I use a uh, round steak. You can use whatever you prefer. Most people for this recipe like to use hamburger meat. It's the same thing other than I like it in pieces. I like the meat in little chunks like this. But it's the same thing. You would cook the hamburger meat at this point just like we're doing the meat now okay we're going to let this cook down it's going to take it a good 20 minutes for all the water to come out of it we're going to brown the meat a little bit so we're going to cover it and i will be back in a little while i came back on to show y'all after five minutes this is what the meat's going to look like so don't panic that it's got released a bunch of water because this is exactly what it's going to do but we're going to continue to cook this until the water evaporates. Alrighty guys, the water has evaporated and you see how the oil that's in there is kind of frying up the meat and that's what we want. So now we're just going to let this fry up a little bit for about 10 minutes just till it's nice golden brown. Brown up that meat real nice. Okay, now that the meat is nice and brown, we're going to add our pepper, our comino, our onion, and our garlic. And we are going to fry this up, wake up those spices, and fry it until the onion is just tender. And you can smell those spices waking up, so you know that your food is going to have lots of flavor. Okay, now that our onions are completely tender and the meat is real nice and toasty, or browned I should say, we are going to add our tomatoes. We're going to add some crushed tomato. 
some tomato sauce, and the chicken broth. You can use water if you don't want to use chicken broth, that's okay. We're going to bring this up to the boil and we're going to add some chicken bouillon. Consume de pollo or whatever flavoring you have. And this is where you're going to taste it for salt. After it comes to the boil, we're going to taste it for salt to see if it needs any salt. And we're going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes before we add in our fideo. Okay? I've added the liquid and everything. We're going to wait till this comes back up to the uh, boil, turn it down, let it simmer for 15 minutes, and we'll be back. Alrighty, it's been 20 minutes. The meat has been simmering here. What we need to do here is to make sure that your meat is nice and tender before we add in our fideo. And as you can see here, it's falling apart very easily. So I know that the meat is ready, and it is now ready for the fideo, the last portion of the video. So you just add your fideo, give it a little stir, and you're going to cover this and let it cook for an additional about 12 minutes, no more than that, and then turn it off. See, it's already simmering, so we just want to cook it for about 12 minutes or so. You check it just to make sure it doesn't overcook. Okay, guys, it's been 13, actually 13 minutes. I'm going to show you what this looks like. I turned off the fire. We're just going to let it sit here, and this is what it looks like. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, we're just going to leave it covered. It's almost like when you're serving rice. You don't want to mess with it too much. Leave it covered for about five minutes. Let that fideo absorb all that broth. I'm going to serve us up a plate so you can see what it looks like. Alrighty, this is our bowl of fideo with round steak in it. What I would consider fideo loco, but with round steak instead of hamburger meat. But you can have it either way. It's the same. This is delicious. I can smell it. We're going to put a little bit of salsita in here. Mm -mm. Mix up those beans. And look at that. I wish you could see this. Look at that. Yummy. Let me bring you in for a close-up. Delicious. Okay, guys, let's see what this tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect for this weather. Delicious. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Very, very good. The meat is very soft. The fideo is just perfectly cooked. Don't overcook it because that makes a big difference in how this plate's going to come out. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it for you. If you did like our content, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. That really helps me out here on the channel. And don't forget to go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. The recipe and all the ingredients I use will be in the description box below. So go take a look there. Any questions, leave it in the comments and I will get back with you. Okay guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.